I'm well excited to ride high. Oh wait. Oh, I'm joking. Of course, it is not open. So I've come to Alton Towers to check out everything that's new because. Why am I so zoomed? That's better because there is a lot of progress being made in the Forbidden Valley. Obviously Nemesis opened, there is a new ride, there is a digital Dan and a monorail. Anyway, in the Forbidden Valley as I was saying before, there is a new flat ride under construction and then of course I'm kind of hoping they're going to be doing something to Galactica, so I'll go and check out the rumours of a potential re-theme. Alton Towers with friends, and I've got a question. If people do go on to enjoy this video, M, um, join the group. If people do go on to enjoy this video, what should they do? Click off it. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> you need to stop. No. Another closed ride. The state of Katanga Canyon. Boo boo. You stand on a rock outside and outside the toilets. Outside the toilets. <laughs> outside the ladies. This whole flattened piece of concrete, that's the foundations for the new scare maze. That's a quite a toppled off. That's quite a big space for a scare maze. Do you reckon it'll be very similar to survival games? It's the same um, building. Not fact. Where is it's the going? exact same container and oh, marquee configuration oh, as survival games. Yeah. Literally use survival. Yeah. You just stabbed. You stabbed. I had to kill myself. Anyway, moving on from that little interlude, it's probably going to be a very similar sort of scare maze as survival games because it's done by the same people, same space, and um, I don't like that. You reckon well, it's I mean, be it's in the to. middle of Curse of Old Manor area and Forbidden Valley, so it could be a crossover. The Curse of It could be something Valley. completely different. Yeah. Okay. What about survival games but with phalanx people? Oh. Oh, we've got a winner. <laughs> so, <laughs> full house. <laughs> comment below what you think the theme will be. Emily gets captured um, by the phalanx. You oh. This facility is also forbidden. It's closed. Yes, I know. Phalanx. We can all. Oh, uh oh, he's seen me. <laughs> It's actually blown my mind how quickly this is making progress. The crane's on site. But the main point we need to look at today is that it has actually gone kind of vertical. There's a boy in the trees. That is what I mean by going vertical, the caging for the ride. So the ride system itself is not gone vertical. But they're making a lot of progress in trying to get the area ready for proper construction. Here, make it look sick. I'm gonna Are you jumping down? Yeah. I'm Sam Costello and welcome to I oh, can't say that on YouTube. But I'm gonna do some stunts. I'm gonna jump from this ledge into the thing. Watch me. I'm in the ride area. Now I'm actually in the construction site for <laughs> I'm not, am I? Project Ocean, as you can see from this vantage point, is well underway. The foundations have been set. It's gone slightly vertical with the caging. Of course, the ride system itself is not going vertical yet. That'll still be in a few months to come. But it does ring true for my predictions in my previous update for this. Oh, monorail. But also, it's a good indication for this being a bit more of a highly themed flat ride than what Ripsaw was before. Because if they're doing all of this already to prep the area, then they must have something up their sleeves. Also, indicative of this point, look how well themed this area is now. Everything that they have done to the Forbidden Valley in recent times this season, has all been to upgrade the theming and the immersion of the attractions. So that is what I believe we're getting. Why is he always lurking? Try and see if I can find another view. Into the constructions. Oh yeah, of course, blocked off. Oh, look at that. Wicked. What if I press this button? Even worse. How? Really? Yeah. Oh, that's, we've just gone extracurricular. So, um, how did you? I just heard. How do I get down? Someone take the camera. It's quite a large so, drop compared to what I thought it would be. There's steps there. Yeah, well. He wants to go the cool way. Oh, the cool way. Spider Man. 
Spider-Man. Oh, football! Oh, no, not again! No. Do you know? Spread them. Fun fact, the Earl of Shrewsbury actually kept a bear in here, which is why it's called the Bear Cave. Back when exotic animals... And here he is, the bear's here! <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not hairy enough. <laughs> So we made a very quick 15 minute detour from the Forbidden Valley down into X Sector to try out the new food location before hopping back in to Galactica. Hopefully I get a ride on Oblivion because it's actually open. Best element on the ride. This is not what I expected. Four food vans, I thought it was a restaurant. So in terms of food options, we've got pizzas here, vegetarian option as well. Then then quickly run over to the next one, see what we've got over here. Oh, shock burgers. They've got vegan. Ollie's a vegan. They got a hashtag vegan. <laughs> yeah, so send him some hate in the comments. <laughs> got hot dogs. And... Facility. Fish and chips. Facility. Facility. <laughs> With Sam today at Alton Towers. What's this place called? Exposition. Food. Exposition. Exposition. At Exposition Food, we've got oh fish cake and chips. Not quite as outlandish as what I got in China, but squid, 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 squid cake. Let's give it a try and see if it is tasty. Also, Ben toppled off his seat. Then um, a chip. That is so good. Would recommend. Potato. It. This is a bit better than you. Em just went. It's nice. Sam's oh. giving us a delicate, precise review. Good. It's dry! You dong it! I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't Gordon Ramsay, so really, no. <laughs> no, it's actually nice, it's actually nice. I was watching Hell's Kitchen yesterday and I've always wanted to be Gordon Ramsay. Um, as you can tell by my hairstyle. Was the fish cake and the chips good? <laughs> yes. That'll do for the review, I think. I've just eaten my food, so it's probably a good time to go on Oblivion. As you can see, I'm about to write the original dive coaster. Is this one called Diving Coaster? No, and I'm glad you brought that one up, Daniel. Because if you didn't already know, I went to Shanghai Happy Valley just by accident. I threw a data map completely unstaged and it landed in Shanghai. Watch the vlog. Link Watch the vlog. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, oh, I can see it. Um, I rode Diving Coaster Full stop. Also, also, I posted about it not only on YouTube, but on my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So go drop me a follow on all of those platforms as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Scarefest Construction, <laughs> part two. And there is a little gap. Hmm. Point, we'll just, we'll point. Just, we'll go, go, George, go. Here we are. It's all clear. What used to be in there, George? <laughs> Darkest Depths was in there. And before that? Was the... Was it the zombie scare zone? Yeah, it was the zombie scare zone. So, wait, what's it going to be now? Scare maze. A new scare maze. A new scare maze. Yeah. How interesting. So, as you just saw, I sent my little minion in to get you a perspective on the new scare maze for Scarefest 2024. Subscribe. New Skyride logo. <laughs> and the dungeons are still rubbish. In big trouble for that one. Good news. Apparently the dungeons are going by the end of summer. So new, we've got Frozen. Also got a really cute new picnic area here in front of the towers. Yeah, you've been here for ages. Shush. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. Oh my god, he nearly ate a duckling! In a very dry Forbidden Valley. To do last minute construction updates and speculation. Ah, oh, Subterra. Close. <laughs> That ride is just beautiful. 
you could say it's a beast. It's a what? Kill the beast. Shout out Theme Park High. Going to have one last look into Project Ocean to see if anything's going on and if we can maybe predict a timeline for opening. I vlog. As you can see in this footage, kindly filmed by the very tall digital Dan, the space is very open. Crane. Ah, crane in the way. You did warn me. As you can see, the concrete platform, the foundations are there. The construction time for a top spin, which we believe it's going to be, is around three to five months. Be the serious Cajun. on this channel for once. Yeah, be serious. Tell so us about the Cajun. This, this specifically has a construction period of 15 weeks. One five. Yeah, and it's about five or six in. So, so they've got a good <laughs> 10 weeks or so to go. And that does marry up with what I said about three to five months. Yeah. And so what you put some B-roll in. Yeah, I'll put some. <laughs> There's a massive cage that's been made, um, and I assume that will house the concrete for that tunnel at the bottom, but no that line. And then above that will be ripsome potentially. But um, yeah, that's that's that going in, and then they'll fill that all with concrete. That'll harden, and then that'll be a tunnel. Maybe they might reopen this this area a little bit. I don't know. Um, nice. So we do know that tunnel equals theming. Yeah. But. As Dan said, with it being a 15 week construction cycle and us being what, you say four weeks in? Yeah, four or five weeks Four or five like weeks in. We're like two and a half months potentially off of having something in this area. I reckon it'll open in September or October. But For Scarefest, yeah. imagine that. I think they'd be stupid to get it ready at the end of this year and not open it this year. They'd be stupid. Yeah, I, I think so as well. Serious. Just a quick update down at Galactica, and this could be nothing. However, on Twitter there was a photograph of cameras set up in front of that entrance sign. As Dan said, right. they're usually to do with gauging the sight lines and for construction work. So, could that indicate that Galactica could be having some work soon? I have also heard rumours of a phalanx re-theme, which it does kind of need. Also adding weight to this speculation, cameras very similar to what were placed just in this spot were also in the area for Hyperia. Only about a year before they then started construction. So, could there be weight to this argument? Let me know in a comment below whether I'm either blowing smoke or there could be some reality here. Thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you did enjoy it. Ciao, legends. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Please, sir, can we have some more? You don't have to call me, sir. But here's your link. Click it. Sir Punalot would sound cool, though.